What's going on everybody, my name is Ginger Mellon and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the top 5 most hated Call of Duty Zombies maps of all time. But just before we get into the video, if you are new and you do enjoy the content that I make, please make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button as a certain percentage of you guys that watch my channel aren't subscribed. With that said, let's get into the video. Coming in at the number 5 spot, we have Die Rise. When looking into people's opinions on why they hate this map, it came to three main things. Number 1, the layout. Number two, the fact that the map kills you more than the zombies do. And three, the characters. The layout of this map was very weird as it was mostly vertical and most of the time moving around the map, you were holding your breath wondering whether you will die of full damage or you're gonna go to a place that you can never go back. I think another reason this map was so hated was the fact that in comparison of the other BO2 maps, it was just terrible as it had to compete with maps like Origins and Buried. It also introduced one of the most useless perks ever, Who's Who. Like seriously, who actually uses that perk? And if you do use it, by the way, please stop. It hurts your brain cells. The one thing you do have to love about this map though is it brought in one of the best wonder weapons in Call of Duty history, the Sliquifier. The one annoying thing though is that you can only have one person using it at a time. At the number four spot we have Zetsubo no Shima. The main thing that people hated about this map was the annoying and long setup. It's pretty much a mini easter egg for the power and the pack a punch machine quest is so long and boring. This is also a weird one but when looking into reasons why people hated this map, a few people were saying the number of doors were weird. So I hopped into the game and I actually agree, there's so many doors on this map it's actually frustrating. Also when researching this map people were saying that it was too complicated but then they were also saying that the easter egg was too easy so I don't really get that but let's just move on. But the same as Die Rise I think its competition was just a bit too big as it had to go up against Eisendrak, probably one of the best Call of Duty Zombies maps. At the number 3 spot is Blood of the Dead. The real reason it was hated on it so much is because it had such high expectations as it was a reimagine of Mob of the Dead. People felt that they took the coolest things out of the game like the plane in Afterlife that gave Mob real character and also not having the Mob of the Dead crew probably didn't help either. The biggest reason I can find why the people hated this map so much was that the easter egg was too hard for solos. Personally, I don't know too much about easter eggs, I'm not really too big on easter eggs so much, but I can see why that would be annoying. For me, the new parts and areas of the maps just don't make sense, as as soon as I'm through the catwalk, I never see myself going to them again. Also, the warden's office is completely pointless. I'm also sure being on the BO4 engine didn't help either, as for some reason it was a trend to hate BO4 when the game came out. Coming in at the number 2 spot is Transit. When this map first came out, I don't think I've ever seen or heard a map be clowned and memed on so hard in my life. I'm sure the idea of a big map with a bus for transport on paper sounded really cool, but it ended up just being really annoying having to take the bus to each location. Unfortunately, what really killed this map was the fog and fire, the fire being really annoying and the low visibility also just being really annoying if I'm honest. They had to add this as the consoles couldn't actually handle the sheer size of the map, so it's not actually Treyarch's fault. And I also can't talk about transit hate without mentioning the denizens, which I honestly can't go into much detail about or my monitors will literally be out my window. But what people hated most about transit was the annoying and tedious pack-a-punch. And I also have to mention the Avogadro. He was just a dick. Now finally at the number one sport is Dirt Unfung. Now if you didn't think that this is the worst map ever, I don't know honestly what is wrong with you. The reason people hate this map so much is that there literally isn't anything. There's no Pack-a-Punch camo, no easter egg, and no fun quests. And honestly, no effort at all. Yes, granted they are slowly adding things and Treyarch are under a lot of pressure, but there is nothing to like about this map. The perk system makes me want to crawl up into a ball and cry, and the whole map is full of bugs and glitches. And yeah, the biggest thing that people don't like about this map is that it's not round based. Yet yeah, you heard me, the one thing Zombies is really known for is not in a Zombies game. Dirt on Fun could possibly kill zombies as a whole and that's why it's at the number one spot and that's my list for the top five most hated call of duty zombies maps if you do enjoy the video please make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button as i'm trying to get 200 subs by the end of this year with that said i'll see you guys later goodbye <laughs>